I'm stuffed. My compliments to the chef. My pleasure. Did you enjoy your time with the Marshal? Mm hmm. So, uh, what's that thing on your face? This? Yeah, X marks the spot. That's nah, just a scratch. The other guy got off a lot worse. <laughs> worse than looking like some kind of thug? Speaking of which, who was this other guy? <sighs> they call him. Yeah, who do you think it is? <laughs> Catch you at a bad time. Are you here yet? Yeah, I'm at the crow's nest. Good. Thanks for agreeing to meet with me. Sure. So, are you ready to move out? Of course. <sighs> well, what about you? Are you mentally prepared? Of course. I'll be right over. About time. What'll it be? Just the water's fine. Thanks. Allow me to ask you once more. Are you sure you're ready to take on the Blade Master? I went up against the High Commander and got my ass handed to me. I didn't stand a chance. And I never will unless I get more power. Then answer my question. Are you ready or not? <laughs> you think I would have called you here if I weren't? So you're ready to face death. <gasps> Gilgamesh awaits challengers in the deepest recesses of those ruins. It's been 30 years since we uncovered the caves. We've sent countless expeditions, but all of our efforts have afforded us no rewards. And no survivors. Except for you. You undertook the trial, and you made it back alive. Barely. Let's move. Did you tell your friends why you were taking off? Just said it was business. Didn't want them getting all worried about me. Become the king's shield. Prepare them to inherit the power they pursue. The Blade Master's men have sworn their loyalty both before and beyond the grave, scaring off the unworthy. Then they better prepare for disappointment. That looks scary. <laughs>
way to go is down. to prove yourself worthy of my mantle? I do. I am here to undertake the trial of Gilgamesh. And what is it you hope to glean? Power. And you're gonna give it to me. Is that so? fighting beside the chosen king as his sworn shield. You saying I don't? A great evil threatens the people of your world. It is but the king of kings and his shield who can safeguard their lives. All those unworthy or unwilling to rise to the task meet their end here by my blade. I ain't meeting mine anytime soon. This trial hasn't even begun. If you do not fear death, then go forth with reckless abandon and prove your worth. <sighs> you are ready for this. In that case, let the trials begin. So the Blade Master, he's a master of blades. What, were you expecting something profound? Master isn't here to train you. He's here to test you. He won't go easy on you just because you joined the Crown's Guard. So, no mercy for newbies like me. So, what? The weak aren't worthy of serving as shield? In his eyes, the weak aren't worthy of living. All of them are fools, punished for aspiring beyond their station. I was a fool back then, too, and I was punished. 
but you weren't killed. Maybe you weren't worthy of serving a shield, but he must have seen you as worthy of living. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. <sighs> Back to the truck. Keep your eyes and ears open. Done and done. <laughs> to defeat the darkness. But do you have the spirit to survive these trials? this a trial chamber the hand holding stops here good luck Yeah! Oh, yeah! 
goes with you now, young warrior. Stand tall, for the shield of the king must kneel in subjugation before no man. Thanks for the advice, and for the pick-me-up. Well, you made it out alive. Your first trial may have ended, but rest up while you got the chance. My father never undertook the trial of Gilgamesh, did he? No. You want to know why? I do. I mean, it can't be because he was scared, right? Not of the trial. He was scared of failing as leader of the Crown's Guard and as shield of the King. He couldn't leave his majesty alone, weakened by the wall as he was. After all, what good is a shield with no one to protect? What about you? Worried about leaving your majesty alone? A little. But I'm gonna do what's right for me, like my father did what was right for him. <sighs> Whenever you're ready. How long has it been since you undertook the trial? Thirty years or so? Give or take. I was a lot younger than you are, and far less experienced. It's a wonder I even made it out alive. This place look familiar to you? Vaguely. The younger me had little mind for taking in the sights. Another trial chamber. And another chance for the warriors to impart...
Venture forth, young warrior, bearing our hopes and dreams. Look ahead, for the shield of the king must safeguard our future. Shared by these souls been passed down for generations. The sword of the king would do well to be to good use. set foot on these grounds. All of them fools, unprepared for the dangers lurking within. They all meet with the same fate, as will you. I don't think so. Think what you may, but I know otherwise. The Lucis you call home is nothing like the Lucis I once served. Your age has forgotten the horrors of war, coddled by the king, and drunk off the complacency of peace. No shield worthy of defending the true king could be born from such depravity. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Look on the bright side. Everyone loves an underdog. Ah, oh, the warm welcome just for me. Oh. Will you stand tall? 
Even when your flesh fails you? Or when you fall to your knees? here while I can. Might as well take a break. <laughs> Never thought I'd make my way back to the tempering grounds. You said it's been 30 years. Were you as immortal then as you are now? If you want to know, I'll talk. The Blade Master. What was he like? I don't remember much, except for those eyes. They pierced my heart and peered right into my soul. It was like he knew my every move even before I did. Try as you may, there's no fooling those eyes. <laughs> We'll see about that. <sighs> Back to the trials. He who protects the king must boast muscle and over finely tempered. Could he lack either? Quarter. Yeah! 
Be true, for the shield of the king must deceive none, not even himself. Yeah, easier said than done. The shield is bold, shrinking before none. Waste not the arsenal at your behest. The final trial awaits you. Nice work. Maybe you've got what it takes after all. Maybe. Rest up while you got the chance. Well, what about you? I want to know what was going through your head back then. You that interested in me? I mean, you were a lot younger than I am. 
<laughs> and a lot brasher, too, if you can believe it. Wouldn't listen to a single word anyone said. I thought I was invincible. No one could stop me. Until he cut me down to size. I was cast out in defeat. My hubris laid bare for all to see. You really are immortal, they said. And it stuck. That's rough. Still, you made it back alive. Something no one else has ever done. And I respect that. Uh, whenever you're ready. Come here to die, have you? You look in the die again. You amuse, but do not impress. You lack his conviction. Whose? He who traversed these caves some thirty years ago. Turning a deaf ear to our wails and wishes, he proceeded unfazed, eyes ever forward. Yet he... Clarice would have tried to stop you, you know. Just like he tried to stop me. All those years ago. How come? Because one aspiring to the role of King's Shield can stake his life for none but his liege. Not even for himself. Do you dare risk all for naught in return? His words stayed with me. <sighs> and he was right. I barely made it back with nothing to show for it. So you're gonna stop me? No, I won't. But I will warn you one last time of the danger you're about to face. Just like your father warned me. Once you set foot through that door, there's no turning back. And no one to help you if you fall. One false step and it may prove your last. I'll be fine. Maybe I'll come back with a souvenir. Just come back alive. Be safe, Gladio. There's a chill in the air. I can feel his presence. You better be ready for me.
Any last words? You are strong, yet so long as fear binds your heart. The power you possess is wasted on you. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve, too. Ain't no way I'm backing down now. Nothing can stop me now. Not exactly the souvenir I had in mind. It took me a while, but I realized something. You're right. I am afraid. Uh, afraid of accepting the fact that maybe I'm not really cut out for the job I'm expected to do. But hey, at least I'm not walking away empty-handed. I'd better get going. I may be all muscle and no metal. But I'm gonna keep protecting Noct, the only way I know how. Hmm. Spoken like a true shield of the king. Fear and doubt beget death alone. He who averts his gaze from his own faults cannot himself a true shield call. But you, having made peace with your inner self, have proven you are worthy. The Chosen King should be so fortunate as to have a man like yourself serving at his side. You mean... And with this glaive, I entrust my power to you. <clears throat> Where did you... Taken from the young man who impressed me with his strength of will. It was with this very blade he stole from me my arm. But... I can't accept this. If he still walks among the living, a man of his metal will have doubtless transcended attachment to mere material possessions. <laughs> You're probably right. In that case, don't mind if I do. Now, hasten forth. With mind unclouded by doubt and will unmoved by fear. The last king of Lucis is ill fit to fight without his shield. Thanks again. You made it. Sure did. And so quickly. I'm impressed. Brought this back with me too. Figured you might get a kick out of it. 
I wondered where I put that thing. Keep it. <laughs> Makes for a better souvenir than that scar. <sighs> you know, he mentioned he lost his arm in battle with a real hot-headed young guy back in the day. That's so. Whoever it was left a lasting impression on him. Talked about how the guy had the strongest will he'd ever seen. It takes more than will to complete the trial. You need to wield your weapon with a primal finesse. If you fail to prove your might, you get cast out empty-handed. I don't know. He didn't seem to think the guy would let it bother him. Said the guy's too old to care about material things anymore. If he's still alive. <laughs> Gladio. I hope you feel more confident in light of your success today. Few men can lay claim to such an accomplishment. Not even Kor the Immortal. Yeah, but I didn't earn myself a badass nickname like he did. Still, I'm glad I went through with it. I can finally say I'm truly ready to fulfill my duty. Good. Well... I guess this shield better mosey on back to his king. Wouldn't want him to get scared without me. <laughs> so that's how you got it. What do you think? Very perpendicular. Really compliments the one you got when you saved Nock from that bully. Yeah. Only difference is, this time, I ended up taking a pretty bad beating, too. Uh, not unlike the licking the Marshal received back when he was a lad. Must have had a lot of guts to go up against Gilgamesh back then. <laughs> yeah. Dad said he used to be a real firecracker. The more you know. Hmm. If the Blade Master sequestered himself during the Founder King's reign, then he's haunted those halls for some two millennia. That's a long time. All those years waiting for the Chosen King to arrive? You sure know how to take your sweet old time. What can I say? I'm worth the wait. Give me a break! And I as well. <sighs> Just because you got a shield to protect you now doesn't mean you get to slack off. But if you do, I'll be ready. <laughs>